local storm team meteorologist Chelsea Chandler with the Mid-South's most accurate forecast. This is Good Day Memphis on CW30. All right, welcome back to Good Day Memphis at 743 here. Chelsea's got her eyes on the rain that is headed our way this weekend. Really cooling things off, too. Yeah, we've been seeing this rain really overnight. Right now, it's mostly just in our southern county, south of the state line. A little bit kind of sneaking uh, north of it, but primarily all of it along and south of I-40. And that's going to continue to be the case as we get through the day. I'll track that out and we'll see when it comes a little bit further north as well for you. But right now, let's talk about temperatures. Our temperatures are anywhere from the mid-30s to the upper 30s, right around 40 degrees here in Memphis, but of course, wind chill is present. 40 degrees feels a little bit cooler, coming in at 33 degrees. So, as you can see, it's nice and chilly, as low as 27 in Jonesboro. So, definitely want to bundle up. Our temperatures just really aren't going to climb a ton today. Around 10 o'clock, 40 degrees feels like 35. We top out at 42 this afternoon, feeling like 37. So, it will be chilly. Our temperatures begin to drop. It becomes full circle at 6 o'clock, 40 degrees once again. Feeling like 35. Rain chances. We have a better chance this morning, and then we do this afternoon. 50% in the morning hours, 35 this afternoon, but we start to see that ramping right back up this afternoon or this evening, taking us into what will be a pretty soggy Saturday. Saturday, we have a 90% chance of rain. So let's go ahead and take a look at that hour by hour to give you an idea. A very cloudy day for us. Most of that rain again in North Mississippi, south of I 40 this afternoon into this evening. It really won't be until the overnight hours into Saturday morning that we see it drifting any further north. And once it does, it is going to set Memphis and Shelby County and all of those areas you see, mostly along and south of I-40, but some of it a little bit above it as well, uh, going to be a very soggy Saturday. 90% chance of rain pretty much all day, and our temperatures will never feel more than about 33 degrees. Now, we have to talk about winter weather. You see a little bit of it potentially in the afternoon hours. Proportions of northeastern Arkansas, pink as sleet, blue as snow. Here's the deal. The models have been in very much disagreement. Some show that we could see at most some snow north of I-40, primarily the Jonesboro, Wind, the Dyersburg area. You may see about a half an inch, but don't expect it to stick for very long, uh, maybe even a tenth of an inch as far south as Memphis. But I'm not very hopeful because when you look at these uh, models, you see a lot of rain throughout the day. Then overnight, you see it uh, really this model not showing anything, just shows rain that moves through and getting out of here. A previous model showed winter uh, mix that sleet and snow moving across the area south of I-40. So again, it's very much up in the air. Not looking like it's going to turn out to be much, though, uh, for those unless you live north of I-40. So that's what we have to continue to keep an eye on, and it's all thanks to this area of low pressure. Its path is going to determine what we see. The further south it goes, snow. If it's where it looks like right now, where it's in the middle of uh, these uh, lower southern states, wintry mix. The closer it gets to us, though, rain. So this new model must be showing, uh, showing it a little bit closer, and that's why that model is showing more rain than anything. So that's what we're having to monitor for you as we head closer to the weekend. The good news is it's not expected to be a big event anyway. Our temperatures won't really let it stick. 40 degrees, again, it's going to be pretty gross Saturday, feeling like the low 30s, rainy all day and cloudy, uh, windy as well. Sunday, we have that chance overnight into Sunday for that wintry mix, mostly in the morning hours. But then you see our temperatures were in the low 40s, so anything that fell couldn't stay for very long, anyhow. Our temperatures do drop below freezing overnight, but we start to see our temperatures at least looking better once we get from Tuesday on as our temperatures climb back into the upper 50s as we head into Thursday with our next chance for rain. So we're tracking all of that, keeping you up to date on Twitter. Make sure you follow us there at Local Memphis.